Okay, so hello everyone. I'm gonna try to make a quick PSA on the PC performance of No Man's Sky. Uh, I might run into some troubles during the way and I hope you can accept that because I am not a natively English speaker. You can see the problem already, right? Um, and I am not 100% knowledge in this, so if I make a mistake in uh, the settings things and the uh, terminology of this, these problems, you can comment that in the comment section and see if you can help other people. So basically I'm going to talk to you about this performance. So before I go into the menu, I am going to tell you about the specs that I have. I'm running on a GTX 970, on an i7 6700K overclocked to 4.2 GHz I think, 4.2 I think. Um, it's a quad core CPU. and I am on 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and the game is installed on an SSD which in some cases does not make a difference uh, but in very very few cases that actually does make a difference in some games. So I just had to say that as well and I'm on a Windows 10. So first let's take the graphics options here. So as you can see it's acceptable. Like the uh, okay, I'll tell it as uh, I'll accept it. So uh, basically, I have everything cranked up to max. This means the foot uh, on foot field of view is 100, so as the flight field of view, which is max. Of course, I have V-Sync off, anti-aliasing. Here, is, it, this is one of the problems with the port. It has SSAA times four, and it has off and FXAA. That's it. No MSAA and no TXAA, no, I mean, not a lot of options for anti-aliasing. Uh, we have anisotropic filtering at 16, uh, everything else just cranked up, making sure that the max FPS is on, uh, otherwise you will cap your FPS, it's default capped to 30 for some reason, which wasn't a problem for me because you can change it right here. But some people might not notice that, and I want you to notice it if you get this for PC. So now that I've set my specs and I've showed you my options, it's time to run into the game. I'm going to tell you what's wrong real quick. Uh, we're actually not going to do that right now. Even though you actually do get FPS drops from doing that from time to time. So the biggest problem with the port of No Man's Sky for PC as of the 12th of August 2016, it just came out three hours ago now, uh, is FPS drops and FPS hitching, like hitching FPS drops, uh, lag spikes, so on. Because as you explore, which it doesn't seem to happen a lot on this planet, but it's because I'm on this planet, it, it doesn't have a lot to render right now. Uh, these barren planets don't have much. But um, on other planets with more foliage, there's a lot, a, like a lot of problems um, with hitching and FPS drops and it's just suddenly there. And sometimes the game on PC for some reason looks very pixelated. Uh, it, it kind of feels like they took 720p and stretched it out a little bit. I'm not sure if, if that's just me or if it's the aesthetic or if it's intended I'm not sure it just it, it, it looks a little bit pixelated for me the FOV also seems to be relatively close even though I have it on 100 so I'm going to show you the difference of 70 and 100 here okay so it's I think it was defaulted to 60 actually so I think this is what um, PlayStation is playing with oh my god this looks stupid uh, they might actually be, be playing with uh, 70, but let's see 100 again. This is better, but I'd like to have like 110 or 120. Sorry, too much about FOV. Uh, Pop-in is kind of bad as well. You've seen it on PS4. It's exactly the same on, P on PC. Not much to do there. So what we're going to try to do here is we're going to fly to space and see what the FPS is like there. Oh my god. Sorry, I haven't flown much yet, so <laughs> I'm kind of an amateur when it comes to flying. Uh, so the pop-in is kind of bad uh, from time to time. It doesn't have a huge impact on my 
thingy but um, it doesn't have a big impact on my experience but it's okay I mean it's there we've seen it before so I'm gonna fly to space now and we're gonna see the FPS there so far I haven't had any crashes in the PC uh, version of this game but I have not uh, went to another galaxy yet, so I want you to remember that. Uh, out in space, my FPS is 90, which is okay. The game isn't uh, really beautiful, but it's not ugly either. It's mostly the colors that make it beautiful. It, it kind of has flat textures, so I want you to remember that when you think about this port. It's not a great port, really. The FPS drops and the hitching is the worst. Um, I'm gonna show you one last thing to round up this video. I'm trying to m make it as quickly as possible because not a lot of people... I, I don't want to repeat myself all the time. So we're gonna go to this planet that we were just on and I'm gonna show you the problem that PS4 had and it was in a video that a lot of players saw and this, they saw this video of FPS dropping extremely when you're boosting over a place like this so as you saw I just had a little hitch there that was okay it doesn't ruin much for me to have a small hitch like that C could you just god damn it there we go okay so when we you were doing this on PS4 there came there came out a video of benchmarking on PS4 it would drop down to 14 FPS 14 and it seems to be a bit better on PC. I'm not dropping that low. As you can see, 40 FPS right now. It just dropped down to 30, 50 when we're flying over this thing. I'm sure it's going to be lower if there was a lot of foliage or a lot of other things to render on this planet. And as you can see, the pop-in is kind of bad right now. Uh, so that is not good either. But, um, yeah... It, it doesn't drop as much on PC as it did on PS4. And we're gonna try to land here. The pop-in, look at those. That's really bad. But uh, the PS4 is experiencing that too. That is not a PC-specific problem. Ooh, an animal. Um, so yeah. Basically, to summarize this uh, this thing here. And I should quickly mention that uh, Fraps is showing the FPS because Shadowplay couldn't do it. But I am recording with Shadowplay so that doesn't really have uh, an impact on the FPS. You can see the FPS in the top left hand corner of course. And um, yeah, so to summarize it up, it has a bunch of hitches and um, FPS drops when you're just roaming around and exploring. But what helped me a lot uh, with minimizing those kinds of problems were upgrading to the newest driver. Even though it, the NVIDIA drivers don't yet have support directly for No Man's Sky, they did uh, work a lot better with this game. So I, I upgraded to the last one and it worked better. There are a lot less problems. Um, so to summarize, as I said many times, FPS drops hitching, sometimes a little bit pixelated, uh, the pop-in is kind of bad but not PC specific, the FOV sometimes seems a little bit too close but uh, that's okay as well and I'm not really running any background programs so that is not interfering with my uh, performance and over the next couple of days I'm gonna be looking for solutions for FPS dropping FPS hitching and things like that and I might upload videos on that topic So I will see you next time. Have a good day